Bonjour, my friends. I'm Frankie, and welcome to Club Foodie. As much as I love summer, I enjoy the colder months as well because I can make my favorite comfort foods. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my Texas cowboy stew. This is loaded with yumminess and so satisfying. It's easy to make and perfect for fall and winter. So let's get cooking. In a cold Dutch oven, we'll add bacon, spread it out evenly, and then turn the heat to medium. This allows the fat to slowly render and helps to crisp it up. So we'll stir the bacon pieces often and keep tossing until they're nicely done and just crispy. It should take roughly 10 minutes. Using a slotted spoon, we'll transfer the bacon pieces to a bowl and set aside. In this recipe, we're using garlic sausage. If and only if your sausage is not already cooked or smoked, this is when you'll be adding it to the pot and cook for five minutes before transferring to a bowl. Otherwise, we'll add butter. When it's melted, we'll add onions and saute for two minutes. To this, we'll add ground beef and break it into small pieces. This is a tool I like using. It's a meat chopper and does a great job. And no, I'm not being paid for saying that. We'll season with freshly ground black pepper and when it's halfway cooked through, we'll add pressed garlic and saute until the meat is no longer pink. We'll now season with chili powder, followed by smoked paprika, and then ground cumin. Mm. Of course, we'll stir until the spices are blended before sprinkling on some flour that will help thicken the stew and also absorb the extra fat. After mixing very well, we'll add the smoked sausage or, in some cases, the sausage cooked earlier and incorporate it into the mixture. Next, we'll return the bacon, including any accumulated fat. Hey, it's Texas Cowboy Stew for a reason! And then add a can of diced tomatoes. Although you can make your own tomatoes con case, and the link is at the top right corner of your screen. We'll also add a can of corn kernels, a can of rotel, which is a mix of tomatoes and green chilies, and finally, two cans of baked beans. Unless you have time to make my old-fashioned baked beans, and I'm sure you know where to find the link. Otherwise, this is the brand I like using. We'll add cubed potatoes, I'm using Yukon Gold, and stir the ingredients until nicely blended. Last but not least, we'll pour in some beef broth, and once again, We'll stir well, making sure the potatoes are submerged so they cook properly. I just push them down with the back of my spoon. We'll now increase the heat to high and bring the mixture to a boil. When it gets there, we'll cover, reduce to medium-low, and simmer gently for 45 to 55 minutes or until the potatoes are tender stirring often, and making sure to scrape the bottom of the pot so nothing sticks down there. Depending on the size of your potato cubes, the time may vary. So after 50 minutes, mine were perfect, nice and tender. Now, before serving, I want you to taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. Hey, this is not my first rodeo, and I know the seasoning is bang on. And my friends, this is our Texas Cowboy Stew. With a hearty combination of tasty ingredients, this is a casual recipe that will keep you coming back for more. Served with crusty bread, this is a meal that everyone will love. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, run
Bon appétit!